Well, if you watch my channel much, you know I like to travel and I love to make kits like Altoy kits, go bags, get home bags, whatever. So I watch a lot of those type videos. And a couple months ago, I was watching a video and I wish I could remember the woman's name and her channel, but I can't, I apologize. But I believe she was Mormon and talking to a group of people in either Utah or Idaho. And she was going over all the different type of emergency kits that were a good idea to keep. And she had one extra that I hadn't thought of. She said it was a different type of 72 hour kit. Here's what she was talking about. Well, what the woman was getting at was that maybe the clothes and the stuff you have in your car isn't great for every kind of emergency. For instance, what if you get a call that a loved one has been in a bad car accident and you have to go hurry up and go to another city and be by the bedside? Well, I don't know about you, but in the back of my Jeep, I have clothes. I do. I have underwear and I have old jeans and sweatshirts and hiking boots, that type of thing. Might not be what I want to wear in the hospital. So she had said you should have another bag all ready to go that meets those type of needs. And I started thinking about it. Um, when I was little, my parents got a call. My brother was in the Navy and he had been in a very bad car accident. And so I remember being whipped into the car, dropped off at my aunt, and they traveled from Michigan to Pennsylvania and were by his bedside. And I'm thinking, my, they were in such a emergency. It must've been hard to think of everything to pack at that moment. Well, about six years ago, my daughter was expecting my first grandchild, her first child, and she lived eight and a half hours away. So I had a bag all packed, ready to go in my car. So when I got the call that she was going to the hospital, I would just jump in my car and travel those eight and a half hours to Louisville and see my grandson be born. And I did make it, it was a great, great experience. And I had everything I needed in that kit, or I should say travel bag, because I had time to think about it. Well, and sometimes when you're gonna get a panic call, you aren't gonna have that much time and you might not take everything you need. So that's why I came up with this system. So what we have here is all my travel essentials. And I keep them in a closet on a shelf so everything is easy to access. And they're in a bag. I bought this linen bag from TJ Maxx's home goods store. And it's really convenient because you can easily carry it. It's got two handles on either side and one here. A little Velcro there. And then we can open it up. Now you see this little list here. And what it is Instead of having a pre-packed kit, I have a list that reminds me what I want to grab. For instance, my essentials, it says cell phone, cell phone charger, cash, debit card, visa card, health insurance card, emergency numbers, first aid, my hair supplies, my travel rollers, makeup, hygiene, and a miscellaneous bag. So, that's all right here, travel miscellaneous. Here's my little makeup, first aid, some more first aid, hygiene kit, hair supplies, travel rollers, and everything to go. In addition, I always have my little travel bag here, and I did make a video about that earlier. And I put these here because it's a good reminder to take these with you just in case, especially if you're going to a city you're not used to or on an airplane. So all the essentials basically are here. But then it goes on to say if I'm traveling by air, I want to make sure I have my passport or driver's license. I might want my travel pillow or an inflatable neck rest. And other travel, I probably will always want my tech bag and I have a video on that too. And in there is where I generally keep my Kindle 
and all my charging supplies. And I might want one of these packing cubes. This right here is a dop kit, you know, where you can keep all of your hygiene type supplies. But I have a variety of bags here, different sizes for packing. And I'm telling myself, remember, you might need packing cubes for jeans and slacks, packing cube for tops, packing cubes for shoes, and of course, undergarments. Might need a coat. Might want a travel umbrella. And maps if I'm going to an area I'm unfamiliar with. Might want my essential oil travel kit. If it's business, I might take my laptop with me. And I might want an alarm clock, earplugs, lint roller, or my garment repair kit. So here's everything to remind me what to get. And then I can easily stuff it into the right size suitcase. And if it is an emergency, this will tell me what I have to take with me. It's in one place. So I don't have to go to multiple closet or drawers to pull everything out. Everything is here. I just go in the closet, add my clothes, put them in a bag, and I'm off. So it's pretty dark here in the closet, but you can see that's where I keep it. So I can easily just pull it up and retrieve anything. Now, in each of these little kits, you know, it says on the top here, hygiene kit, and it contains everything I need. So let's look at it got some Kleenex always comes in handy a little lotion soap some Colgate and sanitary pad shaver a little deodorant shampoo Toothbrush, floss, little towels that you can add water and they blow up into regular towels. Uh, some little nail files and get it. And that's it. So everything fits in this little kit. I should say that first thing wasn't lotion, that was conditioner. So I have what I need right here in my hygiene kit. So if I am going and packing, I just pull this kit and I have what I need for a short trip. So I hope my idea helps you. To me, it's a great way to organize all my travel supplies. I have them on a shelf. I can just easily pick what I need and hopefully I won't forget anything and have to run to the store once I arrive to wherever I'm going. So I'd love to know how you organize your travel supplies and if you have that alternate type of 72 hour kit for those special emergencies. This is Prepper Potpourri saying, please subscribe, share the knowledge, thumbs up if you like this video. And if you wanna receive notices on my video, click on that little bell beneath. As always, thank you so much for your support.